In this video, I will show you how to connect to any computer on your home network and either view or take control using a free program called Tight VNC. I'll walk you through the installation, the steps to get connected, and we'll take a look at that right now. Before we begin, I want to explain the two components we need to install. The first part is going to be the server. Now, the server needs to be installed on the computer that you either want to view or remotely control. So that's going to be your target computer. The second part is going to be the viewer. Now, the viewer is going to be what you're going to be using on the computer that you're on. So you're going to be using this viewer to take a look at the server computer to either remotely control it or just view the contents on it. So those are the two things that we're going to get installed. And what I like to do is I like to install the entire package on all the computers. So it doesn't really matter what computer I'm on. I can always access and remotely connect to a different computer on my network. So we'll go with that setup right now as we do the installation. So we're going to begin at our desktop. We're going to open up our browser, head over to Google, and inside Google, we're going to search for Tight VNC. Now, Tight VNC is a free and open source application that you can download directly from their website, which is tightvnc.com. So here we are at the website, and what we can do is just scroll down a bit here. You have two versions. We're going to be doing the 64-bit version. Uh, there's also a 32-bit version if you need. Uh, we're going to let that download, and we'll open it up. Now the installation is complete, so we can go ahead and start the setup. Let me just minimize this. And here we are at the tight VNC setup wizard. We can just click on next, and then we have the user agreement. We can select yes to that or check that and click on next. And now what we're gonna do is we have the option to do a custom or typical setup. I like to just make sure that everything is selected inside custom. So make sure all the options and features are selected and then click on next. And then you have the option to have it run as a service on your Windows computer. This is up to you. It'll automatically start up with it. I think it's a great feature. So no matter what you're doing, if you reboot the computer after an update or anything like that, it automatically starts up. So you can click on next and now we're ready to click on install. Say yes to the prompt. My screen gets blacked out here, but say yes to the prompt and then it'll complete. And now you have the option to start setting up your password. So now you need to set up a password for remote access. This is when you're connecting to the computer. So you type in that password in twice. And then next you have to enter in an administrative password. Now this is if you're on the computer and you need to make changes, this is a separate password. So you wanna type that in here. And then you can click on okay. And then we're done, so we can click on finish. So now if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you have this icon here for VNC. So we know it's installed. All the settings we're gonna leave as default. The most important thing that we see is the port number, which is right here. Um, and we're not gonna be changing anything else. We're gonna leave all the default settings. So what you wanna do now is repeat these steps on all the computers that you have on your network that you either wanna control or view. Once you have that done, we can jump on to the next step. The next step is to get the IP address for the server computer. This is the computer that you want to remotely access and control. The IP address is the unique number that lets us identify this computer on your home network. To get the IP address, we're going to go down to the search bar at the bottom, click on it and just type in CMD. You can also go to run and type in CMD. In the command prompt that we have here, we're going to type in IP config and then hit enter. And then we're going to be looking for the IP v4 address. That's going to be the local IP address on your network that's going to help us identify this computer so we can connect to it. Now we're going to go to our viewer computer. We're going to click on start and open up the VNC viewer. Click on that and in here what we can do is type in the IP address of our server computer. So in this case it's going to be 192.168.1.25. And in some cases, you're gonna need the port number, so then it would be colon 5900. Now you're prompted with the password. You're gonna type in the password that we had used to create it for the remote access, enter it in, and then click on OK, and here we go. So now we're remotely connected to our server computer using the VNC viewer. So it's up and running now. You're fully connected. You're able to remotely connect to whatever computer you like. This is great for IT professionals when they're trying to support computers that might be on a different floor or an entirely different building or a, di a different network. You're able to remotely access it and control it as if you're sitting right in front of the computer. So that's how you install Type VNC on a Windows 10 computer. I hope this was clear, uh, but if you do have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this was helpful, please give me a like. You can also subscribe to the channel for other videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.